a UFC featherweight division fight. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Third round in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Bam Bam! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Bank Arena in Toronto. A lot of big moments for you, boy, Max Blessed Holloway in this place. Yeah, man, Max Holloway has become almost the home team when he fights in Toronto. They love him here, and every time he fights at the Scotiabank Arena, he puts on a show. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, huge block! Kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. Punch over the top. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Just missed on the front kick there. 
Moving to his left now. Hey. He that comes knee. through with a big that lead. Knee hurt him. Nice body. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big kick lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Slips the punch nicely there. All right. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right single collar tie now. Whiffs on that offering. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he caught the kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Beautiful body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Leg kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees coming close. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, nice. Nice. Misses with that punch. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big body kick lands. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Connects with a right. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Big kick land. Back to the overhand. Caught the kick. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Found the target. He 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, that's a good right hand. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps win. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Good one. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice straight punch. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of. Better him than me. He's just trying to throw those kicks even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Just a slip there can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Real quick leg kick. Nice kick. Gets lit up by that straight punch. Slips the punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, big head kick. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh, nice. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, he lands another huge shot, lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 20 seconds to go round two. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Out there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the hands from the gym have paid off.
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Nice. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Whoa! Connection by there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pants. It's like he's hitting focus spits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is like a tough one. He's out. He's out. He got it. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 51 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.